people think of Australia, it's normally the stunning sunsets, infinite beaches and expansive cities. Now although all of this is true, there's still a side to Australia that will blow your mind. have been some of the most memorable, some of the most touching and some of the most challenging months of our lives. Going, but I'm no expert, so it's not going to plan at all. Our van battery is now dead. I'm covered in flies right now. more unforgettable moments and memories than we ever thought was possible. Experience some of the most stunning coastal views. Literally sit here and watch it all day though. Come closer to danger. Oh, whoa! Massive explosion from the back left tyre. Oh. And witness the true beauty of nature. Just wants to snooze. Just can't even catch a break. You are gorgeous. Rockpool mission was aborted, but we've just spotted manta rays with the drone. We are going in. enough sunrises and chased enough sunsets to last a lifetime. Converted a camper van and toured the rugged southern coast of Australia. Camped beneath the stars and overlooked an endless horizon. body weight and food, not all of which was healthy, and experienced Australia's unbelievable weather systems. Those clouds are getting so close that it's going to start to pee and breathe. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Look at that sun in the chest. Look at that sun in the chest. This is one for the team and going to the cold water. <laughs> now with all of this said and done, as much as we love this country, the sights, the weather, the animals, the people. It's time for us to go home. from Melbourne. It is now moving day. We're getting ready to go. Gemma's doing the laundry. I'm sorting out some breakfast and we've just headed out from a swim. If you watch our catch up with our Instagram stories, you might remember a little predicament we just had. But thankfully due to our genius engineering, we've now duct taped the van back together. It's the same on the other side. And hopefully that is not going to happen again. It's just typical it happened to be the last day that we're actually in Melbourne. Six months of owning a van and we've not done that. And then Jim and Goodson does it this morning. But I will just uh, remind you about it every two minutes. Currently in the queue for the car wash. We're going to get the van all washed before we leave. There's Campbell through the curtain. <laughs> and um, I'm on duty of putting away all the laundry while we're waiting here. I have to say, packing in a camper van is possibly a lot more effort and the hardest way to pack than it is to just pack in a hotel room or anything. Because every time I move something, it moves into a different pile and there's just so much stuff I can't deal with now, especially we've taken everything off the roof. This van is just full of stuff. Who knew we could own this much? We came over to Australia with two rucksacks. We definitely won't be leaving with that. Bye, Roxy. We'll see you soon. See you soon. And always remember to touch on your market. Who are you looking forward to seeing the most? Oh, I mean, obviously family and friends but my mum and dad have got a new puppy so I cannot wait to meet Holly. She's just turned one the other day and um, 
one of my best friends as well has had a little baby and we've not seen him yet so I can't wait. I'm so excited to go and meet them both. We've been planning this trip for literally so long. It's been about six months in the making. I can't actually yeah. believe we managed to keep it a secret this long. It's been a close one quite a few times <laughs> to be honest but yeah it's all still. No one really knows about it. Yeah. I think we only have maybe have about three or four three people, people that actually know. About it. Which really All right, good morning, guys. So we've just touched down Doha Airport. We've done a connecting flight from Melbourne to London. And that was about a 14 hour flight journey, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. It was a long flight. It was a long flight. <laughs> whenever I come to the airport, I always put a little spray of perfume. A little bit minging. And good juice. It's free. Yeah. Home sweet home. So there's one person who knows in London that we're actually coming to visit them, that's um, our friend Craig and his girlfriend Joanna, who's Gemma's best friend since she was a kid and my and friend for a good few years. Also my friend Becca. Oh yes, and she's down here as well. And they've got no idea that we're coming, so we're on our way to Craig's now to drop our bags off and uh, we're going to hopefully go and surprise Joanna and Rebecca somewhere. <laughs> Alright, morning, so it's the next day after we surprised Rebecca. It was such a good night, I haven't was, seen her again. And then um, we saw Joanna as well, but unfortunately we didn't have the camera out yeah. when Joanna walked in. But anyway, it was so nice, we had so yeah. much laughs. Really good fun, and then we got in, went to bed, and had a nice refreshing wake Passed up at half past five this morning. That's so we've got into a good routine, and um, we're off out into London to explore. Yes, yeah, so we're spending the next two days in and around London, so we can show you guys a couple of the sites that we're going to go and see, try and keep ourselves busy, and then we're getting an overnight bus back to my house in Glasgow and Gemma's house in Glasgow on Friday night. First stop. A Greg's sausage roll. But, uh, we've been out of the UK for about a year now, and we've been missing yep. the um, probably the most um, <laughs> one of the most commercial things that you can do in the UK. But it's definitely one you need to try if you've not done already. It's a vegan sausage roll from Greg's. Yeah. Let's get stuck into that, get some breakfast, and then we'll go on and show you some of the better sites in London. Yeah, it is. There it is, Jim, the beautiful London Bridge. <laughs> yeah, who else thought that that was called London Bridge for a long time before they actually realised that that's Tower Bridge? I know, London Bridge. it's not London Bridge, FYI. Number and, one tourist. And you know what, it's something that I think the majority of people do think if you're not from London. Yeah. Because sure it's the most famous to. bridge in London, it like, is, yeah. it's actually Tower Bridge, not London Bridge. Just yeah, to worry about going. Now it's time for the hardest decision you make in your life, waffle or a crepe? Waffle. You sure? Is that a fair answer? The crepes are right there though. That's true, waffles are better. It's been a curveball, an absolute curveball. It's zero, it's neither of the above, it's, what is it? Churros. Time for some churros. I could be forget about churros. They look amazing. You feeling Christmassy? Very. Can't wait to get some <laughs> Give us some of them. Mmm. Mm. Oh, it's all good. All over it. <laughs> Saving it for later. service to Inverness. This is going from stance number 54. Okay, G10. G10. I'll just get you there, have a secret. 
So we have arrived into a very chilly Glasgow. It's rather chilly, isn't it? Minus four. Bit of a shock to the system. I don't know, it was about six. <laughs> We're just going to get a taxi. It's about half an hour taxi to our home village. And, um, We're going to chill out in Becca's house whilst yeah. we wait for all of our parents to get up and exactly so the plan is when my sister's done is she's told my parents that we're going for brunch at about 10 a.m it's currently quarter to seven quarter to eight actually yeah. it's late so we've got a little while to kill it's some time freshen up a bit get showered and then it's go time are you ready <laughs> it's show time let's do this Well, yeah, this morning, so well, that was a success. So good to see all my family again. I think my, my parents were quite surprised. Yeah, very surprised. <laughs> so it was good, but now it's time for round two, and this time features a little pupper. So we're really excited to go and see Holly. So, as you know, we managed to convince Rebecca to come back to Glasgow with us. So I messaged my mum and said that all oh, Rebecca's wanting to come around and visit Holly. Will you be in around this time? So she said, Yes, it would be lovely to see her. Blah blah blah. So basically, Rebecca is going to go in, see Holly, and then we're going to come in the door behind her. Yep. And hopefully, it'll be a big success and a big surprise. Yes. And uh, Rebecca's just going to be standing there awkwardly <laughs> until. Give <laughs> up the dog. <laughs> so, what's the plan? I'm acting as a decoy. I'm going to go around and pretend I really want to see the dog. And then, about 10 seconds later, oh, Gemma and Cam are going to come in and surprise me. <laughs> Hello! Oh, 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 Hello! 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 Leaving behind all that you know, saying goodbye to family, friends, and loved ones you haven't even met yet. The fear of what you have to lose is often so strong that it clouds our vision of what we have to gain a lifetime of memories. This year, we've learned one of the most important lessons that we could ever learn. No matter who you are, where you go, or how long you are away for, no matter how much you fear, things changing, people moving, or relationships fading, there will always be those who will welcome you back with open arms. Do not let the fear hold you back. Take the leap. Free your life, travel. Music bed.